In 1969, after we'd won a premiership, and uh, the club decided to celebrate by sending us to uh, Bronte Beach in Sydney. And uh, on one of the fine days there, we've gone down to the beach, and unbeknown to uh, myself and most of the players, there's a terrible rip flows at, at Bronte Beach, but a beautiful wave, nevertheless. And I was sitting on the beach with Royce Hart, who'd never, never cracked a wave before. And he was watching boats catching waves and he said, look, I'd love to do that. He said, is it very hard? And I said, not at all. Come out with me and I'll show you how it's done. So out we've gone and we're standing in water up to about our neck. A couple of waves rolled, uh, waves rolled in and I said, uh, Royce, don't worry about these ones. The next one. So we've jumped on the wave, caught it in. Beautiful. Got out again. I said, duck under this one. He's ducked under it. As we've come up, he said, my feet won't touch the bottom. He said, what do we do now? I said, well, we'll be right. Just hang on a minute. So we were in a rip. So out we're going out further and further out to sea and Royce is starting to panic. He's got his arms around my neck, he's dragging me by the ears. It was almost a war trying to get him off though, but I eventually pushed him off me and he was floating out towards the South Pacific somewhere, along with me. I was heading out there as well. By this point in time I was almost exhausted and I've looked up at the beach and waved and saw that Tommy Hafey had noticed that I was waving. Tommy got up, stretched his considerable physique and dived into the water and started swimming out towards us. I was in front of Royce, I suppose, by about 50 yards, and Tommy kept swam and swam, and as he got towards me, I'd yell out, over here, Tommy, stopped momentarily, looked at me, and then swam on again. Straight past me, over to Royce Hart. Well, by this time, I'm just about, I was knackered, to be quite honest, I was just about had it. I've looked behind me, and there was one big wave coming, with the last bit of energy I, I had, I've caught the wave, and it rolled me into the shore, where I crawl on my hands on these up onto the beach and just lay there and went to sleep for about three hours, I was that exhausted. Anyway, later that night, I was walking through the foyer of the hotel and I ran into Tommy. And I said to him, thanks very much, mate. I said, I nearly drowned out there. You, you, you spotted me and just swam straight past as if I wasn't there. What's the story? Oh, he said, mate, he said, we've only got one and a half forward and he said, we've got plenty of half-back flankers. And he said, <laughs> at that point in time, I knew my career at Richmond was going to be a short one. <laughs>